For Typhoon Hagabis remains a Category 5 storm on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds estimated of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 906 millibars on our SATID system. At 6 a.m. Shamoro time this October the 8th, the storm was barreling past the Mariana Islands. The CDPS now looks towards Shimoda in Japan for October the 12th for potential landfall. Stage 8 on the CDPS, a larger storm even though it would be much weaker by then most likely, and huge amounts of rainfall that could reach 20 inches. Here's the storm and its current location, 16.7 degrees north, 144.6 degrees east. As noted there, already a stage 8 on the CDPS for Japan and that radius of winds there up to 230 miles in some directions. It's currently 121 miles from Saipan, 599 from Iwo Jima, 1071 from the Daito Islands, 1367 from Nagoya and 1369 from Osaka. Uh, still, the typhoon warnings and tropical storm warnings remain in effect for the same areas. As you can see, that storm is still very much too close for comfort, passed within three miles of the unhab uninhabited island of Anatahan in the northern Mariana Islands. Looking at expected rainfall accumulations over the next seven days, the pink trail denotes rainfall amounts of three inches or higher. We could still see more than that falling over the islands from this point forth. We're expecting storm totals of about 12 inches on some of those islands, uh, a little bit less further south. But there you can see the storm progressing towards the north-northwest generally, and then just about striking Japan at the end of that loop there. Um, and still will have quite a lot of strength about it, but the rainfall is likely to be very huge there for parts of central Japan. Sea surface temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius around the storm. You can see how they cool off towards the northwest down to 27, 26, 25 along the coast of Japan. So it will be rapidly weakening most likely by the time it does get there if it does strike central Japan. If it does strike further south, which is still a slight possibility, a Kyushu for example, it may maintain a lot more of its intensity. There it is ballooning in size over the next few days on the wind forecast. Um, still remaining as a Category 4 for quite some time before really dropping off a cliff towards the end of the model run. There it is losing some more intensity there. Down towards Category 3, high-end Category 2 is the likely scenario for the Japanese landfall at this time. And these are the chances of Tropical Storm Force winds as it stands. This is in the next five days only. And bearing in mind Japan is just on the edge of that five-day cone. Um, Saipan 95%, Tinian 94, Tanabe 44, Osaka 35 and Nagoya at 30%. And these are what the models are saying as well. They're still hopelessly far behind what the real situation is with Hagabis right now. With that massive peak earlier today, a little bit off the boil this afternoon, but there still could be the potential for another intensification phase later on um, today local time. Um, sea surface temperature is going to start to drop a little bit. Wind shear remains low right up until the end when it goes up massively when it nears the coast of Japan. And there you can see the models trending towards that Japan, central Japan region. Still the possibility it could miss and go east. So look at this pinhole eye that we've been seeing on the satellite imagery in the last six hours. This is the loop and you can see how close it passed to that island, not too far from Saipan either. Uh, talking something like 80 miles um, and its general movement now west northwest still with that pinhole eye not nearly as good as it used to be the uh, cloud top still very good the eye structure still brilliant uh, but the eye temperature is suffering a little bit this morning and we'll see whether it comes back again and whether this storm might re-intensify again You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.